This is a demonstration of chemiluminescence, the process of making light by the mixing of chemicals. Here's the setup. In a test tube, I have a chemical called luminol. Now notice that other tube running into the test tube. That's the end of a dropper. The dropper is filled with another chemical, which essentially adds oxygen atoms to anything with which it reacts. Look what happens when I turn off the lights and mix these two chemicals together. Did you see the glow? Well, let's do it again, and this time you'll see the glow a little better. What causes this? Well, when the chemicals react, the product that is formed has electrons in excited states. Those electrons can't stay in the excited states, so they must decay back to their ground state. How do they do that? They do that by emitting light, and that's the light you see in the reaction. This process actually happens very regularly in chemical reactions. However, usually the light that is emitted by the decaying electrons is not visible, so you don't really know it's there. When the light does happen to be visible, we call this process chemiluminescence. Now the masters of chemiluminescence are the fireflies. The light produced by fireflies is also the result of chemiluminescence. The fireflies mix chemicals together, and those chemicals produce visible light. Now the chemiluminescence carried out by the firefly is significantly more efficient than anything we've ever been able to come up with in the lab. The firefly gets more light for fewer chemicals than anything human science has ever been able to design. That shouldn't surprise you, of course, since the firefly was designed by the ultimate scientist, God.